Hey everybody, this is NSC TV, your behind the scenes look at the National Sports Center. I'm your host, Scott Clayson, and we are down here in the Schwann Center Sport Expo Center, where it is the Tom Helgeson's Great Waters Fly Fishing Expo. Now, just a couple of minutes ago, I got my very first fly casting lesson. We're gonna show you that in a couple of minutes. But first, this past weekend over at the Schwann Super Rink, it was the Ironman Adult Hockey Tournament. This is the event where we try to wind back the clock for all those adult hockey players. They get lots of game in a short number of days, and we see, can you still handle it? NSC TV was there, so let's take a look. We have our adult tournament series. We offer three events that are Super Rank run and driven. The first one is the Ironman tournament. All our tournaments offer different specials, whether it's golf at Victory Links, food up here at the Hattrick Cafe, free beer, just different things. Usually uh, tailgating is not frowned upon, and we even help promote it inside the rink here by offering bag games and beer pong and things of that nature inside the rink. It now is an Ironman biathlon. We added another event and we hope to have the Ironman triathlon and have a third event in years coming here. But the Ironman biathlon is four games of hockey in a weekend plus a game of iron ball, which is ultimate football on ice. Well, it looks like all the old adult hockey players there had a lot of fun this past weekend as the Ironman is always an awesome event. Well, now like I mentioned at the top, we are here at Tom Helgeson's Great Waters Fly Fishing Expo. And one of the cool things about this show is that you can actually come here, practice your fly casting skills, and get lessons from teachers, including teacher Lift Hearts. Now he walked me through a demonstration of how you cast a fly rod. So let's take a look, see how I did. I've been fly fishing about 30 years and I've been doing casting instruction for about the last five years. I really like casting. I love fly fishing in general, but I particularly enjoy casting. Even if I don't catch fish someday, I, if I have a good day casting, I can still feel good about the day. And I, I wanted to become uh, uh, proficient at passing that along to others and, and teaching others about it. It's, it's a, just a fun way to fish. I think the thing that I like best about fly fishing is that it's an escape from the regular hectic world that we all live in and I just really enjoy getting back to nature. I have never ever cast a, uh, a fly fishing rod before okay. so I need some definite help in okay. learning how to do this. Let me just show you a few things about it. Okay. The, the reel is going to sit on the bottom of the rod as you hold it in your hand. There's many ways you can hold this but you got to start someplace so I just suggest holding it like you would hold a hammer. Many people are somewhat intimidated. You know, it's a physical activity, and uh, they might feel uncomfortable, like they're gonna make a mistake, and they're gonna, you know, look awkward doing it. So the first thing that I do with a beginner is just have them play with the rod for a bit. And we, we have them make circles with the line in the air, and, and figure eights, and ovals, and all kinds of things. And it teaches them two important things. One is that the line follows the rod tip, and the other is that when the rod tip stops, the line overtakes the tip, goes the direction the tip was going. And those are two foundational pieces in fly casting that when those things don't go well, uh, you can figure it out just by those two things. And now, at some point, just stop your hand and watch what happens. Okay, do it again. Okay, so here's what happened. Did I do right? Did you I did, well? you did it great. <laughs> So here's what happens is the line, the fly line follows the rod tip, okay. always. The difference in fly casting and regular conventional tackle is that in conventional tackle, what you cast is the weight of the lure and the weight of the lure pulls the line along with it. In fly casting, the weight of the lure doesn't weigh much, it's a fly and so you're casting the line and the line pulls the fly along with it. The major difference there is that 
in order to change the weight of a conventional rod, you just change the weight of your lure. But if you have more or less line out of the rod tip, that changes the weight and that requires you to make some adjustments and that's, that's part of the fun. Is we're gonna try to make that line overtake that rod tip. So what I'm gonna have you do is when you get out to about here, I want you to just stop. Okay. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Look at that. Hear that? Nice. <laughs> now, as an instructor, it gives me the opportunity to teach multiple lessons in a short, compact period of time. I have taught uh, children as young as six, and I've taught male clinic physicians. And uh, some were really, really accomplished casters, and they had a little bug that they were trying to work out of their casting. Others were rank beginners. And so it, as an instructor, it's an opportunity to teach multiple people and in multiple levels of, of proficiency. Well, as you can see, as a novice who has never actually cast a fly rod before, I think I did okay, but it probably had more to do with the good teacher that I had than anything else. Now, Tom Helgeson's Great Waters Fly Fishing Expo runs all weekend at the National Sports Center. It's a great annual event and another great show that we're having here at the National Sports Center. And that's going to do it for this week's episode. Find us on our website, nscsports.org. I'm your host, Scott Clayson.